Well, hello, pre-calculus students and seekers of general truths. In this video, we will prove a uh, fairly important identity here uh, that n choose r is equal to n choose n minus r. Now, in the last video, what we've seen is some examples of this, and hopefully it gives you an intuition as to why this is true. Um, what I'd like to show you today, or in this video here, is a rigorous uh, explanation of that. All right, and in mathematics, it's important to do both. It's important to have an intuition of something and to, uh, to know it as kind of uh, a, a, a common sense level in context, right? But that by itself is not enough. Sometimes we have to go further and prove it rigorously. And when I say rigorously, we're gonna use the laws of mathematics and we're gonna do this with a proof. And so to do this, remember that when we're proving something, we wanna show that the right side and the left side of the equation are perfectly equal to each other. So I'm gonna start out with the left-hand side. And as with proofs involving combinations, we're going to expand this definition, right? N choose R is really N factorial divided by R factorial multiplied by N minus R factorial, okay? Uh, so that's the left-hand side. That's in my, my first step right here, okay? Uh, and then I'm gonna start out with the right-hand side. I'm gonna to move to the right-hand side now. So I'm gonna expand this definition that n choose n minus r factorial is really n factorial divided by n minus r factorial multiplied by n minus n minus r factorial. Okay, because the definition of combination is in this, this, this last factorial right here, it's the expression on top minus the expression on the bottom and the whole thing factorial. Right? And so this, this points out to the importance of knowing definitions because we have to apply it correctly so that we can make sense of this in context. Okay? And now I can expand this or maybe simplify it in step three here we can say that, well, the numerator stays the same, n minus r factorial, this part right here stays the same. And then if I distribute this negative sign in here, right, in this, the, you get n minus n, and then you get uh, n, and then you get a positive r. Okay, so in here, you get n minus n, plus r, the whole thing factorial, okay? And we can see that really quickly that the n minus n cancels, and in step four, well, we're basically done. It's n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial, and this is the same thing as the left-hand side. Okay, so we expanded the left-hand side just a little bit. We started with the right-hand side, we expanded that, and we ended up here. Right. So there you have it, a rigorous proof of a, a basic combination idea or a, an identity of the combinations. As always, keep working hard, ask for help when you need it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.